Hi everyone, welcome to Excess Beauty. I'm Dr. Thrushti, your go-to skincare expert, and today we're diving deep into a topic many of you have requested and probably dealt with, which is acne growth skin. We'll be covering everything from causes of acne to do's and don'ts, along with some hacks to help you navigate the skin condition. So let's get started. First things first, understanding the root cause of your acne is extremely crucial. Acne can be caused by intrinsic factors like hormones. During puberty, hormones called androgens increase the size of your skin's oil glands that start to produce more oil, which can lead to blood pores, and that's probably why acne is so common in teenagers. However, acne does not differentiate between age, and you can get acne in your adulthood. Factors like excess oil production, bacterial infections, smoking, and stress can worsen the existing acne. Now, let's talk about some do's and don'ts. Do have an understanding of your skin type and keep your skincare routine quite simple. If you have oily skin with acne, look for ingredients like salicylic acid and benzoyl peroxide in your cleansers to keep pores free of congestion. If you have dry skin with acne, look for gentle, hydrating products, making sure to not dry the acne out. Do also stick to your routine and treatment plan for at least 90 days. It can take several weeks to months before you start to see results. Don't overdo it with harsh cleansers or scrubs, or even worse, pick at your skin. This can increase the chances of your acne leaving behind marks at high limitations. And no matter the time of year or your skin type, some acne treatments can make skin very sensitive to UV rays, so it's crucial that you wear a good broad spectrum sunscreen every single day. There are some hacks that you can also use to help reduce inflammation and soothe your skin. However, it's best advised to avoid most at-home remedies. They may offer you temporary relief, but often they can end up doing more harm than good. However, one thing that you can use at home is ice. Applying ice can help reduce inflammation and soothe redness and pain from large cystic problems. Be sure to not directly apply ice to your skin, instead wrap it in a clean, dry cloth to gently apply it to any affected areas. Alright, now some dietary tips. Treating acne isn't just limited to what you put on your face, it's also about what you put in your body. Avoid consuming excess dairy and foods containing processed sugars, as they're known to trigger acne for some people. Include more foods rich in antioxidants, like more colorful fruits and vegetables, to support skin health. And do make sure to drink adequate water throughout the day to stay hydrated. Okay. Alright, we've covered a lot today, haven't we? But remember that acne is a journey and not a destination. Be patient with your routine and kind to your skin. And if you found any of these tips helpful, subscribe to the Excess Beauty channel for more skincare.